What up YouTube? Today we have a special treat on the channel. We're going to do a review of the Cybertruck. So stay tuned. What just pulled up in front of the house? The Tesla Cybertruck. Give it a good walk around one time. Look at that roof. Crazy roof line. Just a straight point. Two pieces of glass coming together. Freaking massive windshield. Huge wiper blade. I bet you this wiper blade is specific to this car. It's probably like 30 plus inches. You ain't finding that on the store shelf. Got some 20 inch wheels. One thing we did kind of already notice, perhaps a Tesla factory error, but the gap here on this one looks pretty normal. We did notice over here, much tighter and kind of sticks out a bit not sure what's up with that your key is of course a card just like all the others we'll open this here door maybe this is my first time using one of these bad boys so if i screw something up just know it's my first time nice interior very spacey and futuristic indeed. Look at that glass. Let me turn this music off real quick before we get in trouble. All right, so here's kind of that view from the driver's seat. Not a lot going on in here compared to some other vehicles. There's not like a million buttons. Everything's all on this screen here. Interesting indeed. You can adjust the ride height, it looks like. Let's go low. And that bad boy lowers down. That is insane. Freaking air ride suspension, just like the Lincoln over there. Let's see what else we can do. Let's raise this bad boy up. Maybe. Oh yeah, you can see us rising. That's crazy. Very nice. Got this console here. Freaking crazy steering wheel too. I don't know if this thing's even on or not, to be honest with you. Maybe I gotta shut the door. And then like, I don't know how you take it out of park. Tap key card to drive. That is crazy. Where do you put this thing? In front of the cup holder? Interesting. Okay, you gotta put it right here. Interesting. So now we can drive. Not going to, obviously, because there's a car in front of me, but that's cool to know. So over here on the door, you got your usual window switches. Nothing new there. Crazy shape on the window, though. Look at that point. It's like a triangle. Yeah, it is like a triangle. And then in order to get out, one thing I'm not a huge fan of is you got to press this dang button to open the door instead of having a door handle. And with it turned on, we can move the steering wheel. Definitely not a fan of the shape of this steering wheel. Seems like it'd be kind of hard to whip it, you know, with this rectangular shape. You can really feel the vehicle moving, too, when you turn it interesting let's check out some other stuff on this screen let's look at looks like you got heated and cooled seats uh, check out the navigation that's pretty cool we can open the tailgate 
open the tunnel cover so you can see through there and have the tailgates open and then we'll open that bad boy up and should be there we go much better so if that's closed um believe that the uh rear view mirror is some sort of camera so let's check what gear we're in here i don't even know how to change that okay i selected reverse okay i don't see it really doing anything that's kind of an interesting way to select your gear and then you can feel something going on in the pedal whenever you select your gear as well let's open the front crazy looking let's go check out some more of this thing we'll open this cover one more time you can see it opening from in here that's kind of what it looks like on the back too I may not be able to show you uh, both views at once without some assistance but uh, let's go check out the rest of the vehicle there's that rear climate control screen I think you can adjust all kind of stuff you can play music you can watch freaking apps back here the world is very highly advanced in technology at this point I must say you can, we have all kinds of luxuries that we never had before. I'm trying to get this thing down. Freaking rear air display. Where is the airflow going? Absolutely insane technology. Wow. Got our center armrest right here. Pretty big, rather cushiony too. Pretty nice for show. Definitely a nice interior overall. And this is what the frunk looks like. This is where the engine is. Looks like a pretty clean engine, I must say. Looks like it's been tuned up recently. All the fluids have been maintained. You can definitely tell that they took good care of this engine for sure. Up here washer fluid top off and in all seriousness that's about the only thing to do under here maintenance wise really really crazy indeed interesting vehicle emission control information that's one like I've never seen before miss that brand new model too 2024 freaking badass headlight too. I don't know how to turn it on but I'm sure we'll get to that point. There's the bed. Nice bed lighting for sure. I don't know how much this thing can really carry but definitely has a good size bed for sure 100%. The entire bottom of the vehicle covered in flat skid plates. Even the control arms. You can see a little bit of the suspension. Got your electronic parking brake. CV axle. There's some of them orange electric wiring like you might see on a hybrid. And there's of course your air strut. Very nice. And here's under the front. Of course we got the four wheel drive, hence the additional axles in the front. And of course the rest of the suspension, air strut once again, looks pretty similar to your standard setup under here for the most part, of course with the exception of the air ride. Let me see if we can get a better view of what those axles actually hook up to. Oh yeah, now we can see some stuff. Freaking cooling fan, some kind of radiator. Looks like it's vertically mounted, or the fan is facing 
up instead of towards the rear of the vehicle. That's kind of interesting. Not really sure what exactly we're looking at in here. I don't know. That's definitely our uh, electric steering rack. But as far as like way up in there, not too sure what exactly we're looking at. I don't even know where the actual motor and battery are located on these. I'd assume that they're somewhere back there where you can't access them, but try to at least take somewhat of a look at the uh, mechanicals of this vehicle as well, at least to the best of our ability here. One of the best features of the Tesla Cybertruck is you can view the Andy's Auto YouTube channel right from your dashboard. Incredible, guys. Incredible. Let us go to a freaking awesome video, which is any video. If any of you guys didn't know, I've quit being a mobile mechanic. Got some explaining to do. So check that out if you haven't seen it. But uh, pretty freaking legit. You can check out YouTube, especially the greatest channel on YouTube, Andy's Auto YouTube channel. Cool feature indeed. Wow, that is badass. <laughs> Whoa, it's like rolling the windows down and folding the mirrors. It's opening the front. What is going on right now? Oh my God. It's amazing. Whoa. It's so cool. Yeah, you think it's pretty cool? Yes. All right. Everybody. Who do they need to subscribe to? Eddie's Auto. That's and, right. Um, my friend. Okay. Vladimir. All right. Badass song, kind of. Yeah. Just the man that made it all possible right here. Fire in the truck. That's awesome. Crazy how you're driving on the screen and it can see other vehicles nearby. And it's fairly correct. That's yeah, right. We're going to go ahead. No, you said Is that you're drive? Not yes, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Here we go, driving the Tesla Cybertruck on the YouTube channel. Man, the steering is pretty crazy on this thing. It's like, it's very direct, but yet it almost feels like it has oversteer instantly. Did you notice that driving it? It is kind of tight, yeah. But it's it's got that quadrasteer or whatever. Well, yeah, it seems like it turns way more than you expect Quick. it to. Quick, yeah. yeah. That and Man, like the region brake or the so weird. the region is pretty wild. And then the turn signal, yeah, on the steering wheel, I see that. I mean, the price too. Yeah, that takes like some getting used to. For the region is so weird, man. Well, no, this the steering. Guess I better put my belt on. I do not own this. I rented this. <laughs> I can give it a little juice. Be careful, man. But definitely want to feel it. Yeah, it feels. Do you know if this man. is the same setup as the um, whatever their fast car is? 
like uh, power the train S or the Model S. Or, yeah, I'm I don't not know, sure. Or if this has like the. I'm not sure. I've only driven one of those, and I do remember it being fast. You have to hold the brights down. That's kind of interesting. It's awesome. Wonder how you get it to stay I on. Feel like this is a yeah, I didn't even. I don't even know how to do the brights yet. How do you do it's the brights? It's right next to the uh, right the turn driving. signal on the steering uh, wheel. Oh, it's here. Like we're yeah, sometimes you can see ghosts out in the out in the forest. Yeah, the ghosts on of here. Vehicles. They just pop up. I did not touch the brake pedal at all. I know, that it's so cool. weird. It's so cool. <laughs> did not use it one bit. So we'll use the brights numbers. up here. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, I guess you just have to hold it long enough. And Daddy, stay why'd on. you try to kill me? I did not. We're just Don't feeling. Do that again. We're feeling the power <laughs> of the cyber truck. So cool. I wonder yeah, if yeah. they're auto, auto dimming. dimming? Maybe they are turn turning them off. off. Well, I can feel it. See how it just picks up the trucks and cars and people's driveways and the cones on the side of the road? It's okay. Man. That, I'm not gonna okay, do there again. we go. They stayed on again. Oh, well. Check out the Christmas nice lights. Dang. That's, well, that's check red, out white, and blue for Liberty. Check it out. It doesn't know what's going on. Bro, right what now. is that? It's tweaking. Well, what is that? That's a dude driving a damn forklift <laughs> or something down the road. Oh, also, go. subscribe to Andy's Auto. <laughs> okay. A little more of a smooth acceleration this time. Oh, yeah. Wow, those are cool. Why are yeah, they already nice. setting up for Christmas? Red, white. Here. Those are red. Those are Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. I like Day. the Red's side blue. camera oh, no, here during the uh, turn oh, event. Heck yeah. I guess these mirrors are removable. And, Just dance. like,. I guess you don't need them or something. Yeah, but very nice. I would want them here. Ooh, I like the Halloween lights. I'd have to know Those how to. Nice. Okay, look, check it out. See how the lights like move, uh -huh. and then when you turn it off, it's like they're just angle. Like something oh, wow. else comes on, but I think the angle changes uh -huh. as well. Because I think that's how nice regular nice. lights are set up. You know. The brights fit are more out, and uh -huh. the regular lights are more down. I think that's actually what this symbol is. The regular headlights have the lines angled more down, and then the brights have the straight lines. A little bit of auto trivia for those here viewers that didn't know that. Oh, here we go. You can really hear the electronics mm -hmm. doing their thing. I, he is. I just want to ask Yeah, that is the coolest thing too, the like all the radar detection it's wild, that it's man. picking up. And it's pretty accurate too, man. There's a car right there and it knows it's a white car. No, I'm kidding, all the cars have been white, but still pretty cool yeah, indeed. He said it's fine to go to the Chiefs. I would be willing to bet that the brakes on this vehicle could last a hundred plus thousand miles. I would agree, man, with all that regen. Yeah, you don't need you, the I brakes at all in this is, vehicle yeah. other than like, like a panic event. Does the uh, Can the Tesla Cybertruck do donuts? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Does the roof open? But uh uh no, unfortunately. Never but the only thing I don't like about Hello. the glass is that it gets it, it attract or just the heat, you know. Yeah. Unless you got some real good ceramic tint on the um, top, but yeah, it's a lot sure hotter. Those out there that already own a Tesla are pretty familiar, but if if you're switching over to these kind of vehicles, it definitely takes some getting used to. Oh, the, that region. The gas too, like just like having to kind of keep a steady gas on it, otherwise it's gonna stop too much. Hazard lights way up, or buttons way up there. It's kind of interesting. Heck yeah. Yeah. I got that mini fridge in the back. I, it actually hauled today. A mini fridge and three coolers. Nice. <laughs> Please don't go fast. We got the again. two the two twenty in the back. And a two twenty plug. An and yeah. two one tens. No, it's not. Is it one ten or one twenty or is it 
220 or 240 or is it 230 or 115? Like I don't know, man. The point is, what you is can the power difference? a washer and a dryer in the back of a cyber truck, both. Uh -huh. You just ain't got no water hookups. Are you videoing? Yes. Alright. I've never done this. There's oh, games okay. on the Tesla. You right, can play start. Tesla racing. And we only get the cyber And truck. my friend here, Mia, say hi. Okay, be shy. Um, you drive. Ooh, this is basically Mario Kart. You sure, uh, Mia? And that's going to be the end of the video for today, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the review of the Cyber Truck. Pretty awesome vehicle. There's definitely some pros and cons, but I recommend you check one out for yourself if possible. Also, Please like, comment, and subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to that 3,000 mark. Trying to hit 3,000 by the end of 2024. If you could help me do that, click that subscribe button. Also, if you've been a subscriber for a while and you're not seeing my new videos, make sure that notification bell is clicked. Also, if you're interested in any of the tools that I've used on the channel, mainly the Top Dom stuff, check the link in the description below. I do make a small cut, and I really do appreciate it if you buy anything. Also, please stay tuned for many more awesome videos on the Andy's Auto YouTube channel. I'm Andy, signing off.